Now I've done it. Sorry about that, Greg. Yeah. Here they come. And they're off. From between horses, that's Silver Pine for the lead. Up on the outside, Campbell with Muscles Yankee. Caught three wide around the first turn. And it is Brennan with Silver Pine leading at a length and a half. Jabaka second. Mastery on the outside third with Muscles Yankee. Now moving steadily from fourth. Then it's three to Conway Hall. Another two to Gutsy Cast. Then two more, it's David Raymond with a confident victory on the trailer is in Durain. Quarter 28 and two. Down the back stretch they go and Campbell wants the lead with Muscles Yankee and will get there over Mastery. Then Silver Pine in third, another two more. It's Jabaka in fourth. Then a gap of four lengths, Conway Hall fifth. Confident victory along the inside six with Gutsy Cass seventh. David Raymond is about 12 lengths from the lead and in Durain. Half 57 and three. And it's Muscles Yankee enjoying a length and a half lead. Mastery second up on the outside, Silver Pine third, with Jabaka in fourth, Conway Hall fifth, Gutsy Cast is off stride. Then along the inside, Confident Victory, a lot of ground to make up from David Raymond, but Manzi is circling up three wide. Three quarters and one, 27 and two. Soft third quarter, three sixteenths to go, and they're on their way home. And Campbell looked to let loose now with Muscles Yankee. But entry mate, Silver Pine, is right there. And those two are going to battle to the wire. Then it's another three more to Mastery. In deep stretch. And Muscles Yankee digs in. Muscles Yankee is just too much. Silver Pine second. Muscles Yankee takes it in 154 and three. Finishing fifth, number five, in Durain. So that'll be a 175 trifecta. 175 is the trifecta, and it returns $173. Again, fifth to five in Durain. The entry finishing one, two, three. The 17 exacta, $22.80. 2280. Looks like Bob Hayden's getting all set down there in the winner's circle. Bob, take it away. Okay, we're in the winner's circle. George Brennan, super effort here from Silver Pine, only the second time he drove him. Yeah, it was a great effort. You know, he raced real good last week, and he come back tonight. Great effort. You know, he little breathed at a third quarter, and, uh, you know, he compensated by trotting home real well. The strategy coming into the race here, you had post four, Muscles had post ten. How did it work out early? Uh, you know, I gunned him at it pretty good. You know, Chuck told me last week he can leave pretty good, and uh, I didn't really leave hard with him last week. But, to, you know, tonight I tested him out of there, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to get around the, you know, a few on the inside. And, uh, you know, he was away third. We weren't going real fast, so uh, him being first up, I really didn't think much about it. So that was top of the stretch. Uh, the race was on from there. Yeah, it was on. You know, there was a couple moments where I thought I might have had him, but uh, Muscle Yankee won a great race, but nothing to take away from our cold there. Is it uh, possible we'll see George Brennan in the Hamiltonian? I hope so. George Brennan, congratulations. Right there with Silver Pine as the Sylvester entry finished one, two, and three here in the Budweiser Beacon Course Final for 400000 That's a lifetime mark for Muscles Yankee, 154 and three. Presentation, Mr. and Mrs. Pedro Ramos, Dennis Jakubiak, Chris Chiaramonte, Tony Sudol, and Andy feeling right now oh man this is the best how's it gonna be better than this I mean unbelievable all three of them race just absolutely super the pace was a little bit slow here muscles Yankee got away to the three quarters you had silver pine coming after him and you had David Raymond three wide did you think at that point you could be one two three well I was I kind of lost David Raymond during the race tell you the truth I was watching the front two horses and all at once I see him come three deep I guess he just wasn't close enough to head the stretch but he raced super too muscles unbelievably handy post 10 didn't bother him one bit well we got all the post 10 we ended up with post 9 that really made a difference Okay, and uh, David Raymond swinging from way back there. He made a, a vicious close. 
I'm not sure how far back he came from. I wasn't really uh, watching him at the point. I couldn't find him, but he must have closed well. And Silver Pine, first over, you surprised how tough he held in there? He sure did. He came home great. I was really happy with him. Next couple of Saturdays, especially two Saturdays from today, is the possibility we might see Charles Sylvester with handball number three. Well, right now, uh, you know, our work's cut off for us. Two Saturdays in a row. It makes four weeks in a row. It's not easy, but if we stay healthy and sound, we'll be there. Thanks to Charles Sylvester. Congratulations. One, two, and three in the Beacon Chorus Final.